All right, today's warm up, guys. Uh, we have two options for your general uh, portion. So we've got five minutes on a machine if you have one, or you can kind of go out for a five minute run. Nice and simple, get the heart rate going, work on that nose breathing. Um, or uh, we can stay inside, um, depending on the weather. Uh, this is a good option. And, and we can go on a, on a running clock for five minutes. We can go 40 seconds on and 20 seconds of rest, 20 seconds off. Uh, that makes one minute, and we're gonna do five movements just one time through. So it's gonna start with jumping jacks. I don't think we need to demo that. Just get that heart rate going and move those feet. And then we're gonna go to a hollow body, which we're gonna be doing a lot. Uh, it's a very good foundational gymnastics. So M is gonna come up, sink her low back into the floor. Instead of just lifting her legs and arms up, she's gonna pull with her, with her core like she's in now. Nice, good rocking chair leg. Uh, position in the body. And I'm just going to come on up. We're going to hold that for as long as we can in within the 40 seconds. Obviously come down if you need to and then go back into it but then uh, that 20 seconds we're going to take completely off and then we're going to go to mountain climbers for 40 seconds. Just try to crank out as many reps as we can. Again, getting the heart rates up. This will warm up. All right. So sometimes we see mountain climbers slow and controlled, but we're really trying to just get the heart rate up, supporting through the shoulder, um, and then pulling with the core right after that hollow body. That's going to be pretty. Um, that's going to be pretty aggressive for your warm up. Uh, so so take it slow if you need to. Then we're going to go uh, scorpions. All right. So I'm going to get out the T. Leg drapes over, taps. Make this a dynamic stretch. Digging that shoulder in. This is actually a shoulder stretch. Um, and if we're lucky, we can get a nice good cross-section stretch all the way to the opposite hip as she comes over. All right, so we're gonna do that for 40 seconds, 20 seconds off. And then last one, we go to the nice static old inchworm. And uh, I'm gonna come on out. It's a lot of core work. A little more. We're gonna go 40 seconds, just back and forth in your living room. This is all stuff you can do in your living room. Or yeah, this is a great option actually. Cool, and that's your general warm up. Okay, now uh, we're gonna get to some mobility. Um, so, some posterior chain going on here, some legs. Uh, so, what we're gonna do is get out that little trusty band, or if you got a belt, um, or a rope, or just something at home you can strap over your foot. And we're gonna go upper, or sorry, flipping upside down. We're going lower hamstring. On this one, pressing against the band, uh, or sorry, pulling pulling the band or belt or whatever you have, pulling down on that foot, right, to stretch out that uh, lower hamstring. Then a couple seconds there, then a couple seconds in a bent knee, we're gonna push against the band and contracting through the hamstring. This is our PNF, and this is actually gonna get lower, uh, or sorry, higher on the hamstring, more towards the glute, okay? So we'll, we'll see her do another cycle through so we can see, so lower on the hamstring, here when she pulls and then bend the knee and then she's gonna push and get higher on the hamstring and the glute. Um, that, that's where you're gonna feel those two, two um, positions. All right? So you're gonna do a couple, few cycles, few seconds uh, for 60 seconds per side on that one. All right? And that's your mobility. Hitting the hamstring is pretty hard today. Um, then we get to uh, our specific. Okay, so specific for today, we're gonna get some weight overhead. Just use what you have at home. We uh, have the luxury of having a plate around. Um, if you have a dumbbell, you can go single arm. If you have um, any odd object, you can just support it overhead. And we're gonna go uh, 50 feet roughly of overhead walking lunges. If you don't have a lot of space, you can just do in place. You can do reverse, um, whatever you kind of, however you wanna target this. When you do your lunge, just make sure when you step, we can, we, we can just put that down and you can lunge. Imagine Pam's got the plate, she just did a workout, so she be tired. Um, but when you do your lunge, it's crucial that you make sure that that knee stays back and your torso stays back, so we want to sink down good. And we want to activate that hamstring and that glute by keeping that knee behind the toe. Alright? Cool. If you think you might be struggling with this, if you have knee problems when you're lunging, um, you can always film yourself. You can look in a mirror. Um, I know we don't uh, do the whole mirror thing at the gym, but this is a good opportunity to kind of coach yourself through some of these things. Or, hey, send in a video to us and we'll gladly help you with your movement over this time. Um, that's the benefit of having all of this technology with us. Okay? And then we're simply going to do um, 15 weighted squats. So whatever weight you had for the overhead, 
just gonna hold it and we're gonna squat with it, going through a nice range of motion, warming up that squat. Um, if you want, you can kind of hold it out in the bottom so it's not, yeah. Yeah, just opening up the knees and squatting between the knees, staying nice and tall, okay? Lastly, uh, we're gonna do 30 seconds, so the clock's still running. Uh, we're gonna do 30 seconds of either double unders, double under practice, single unders, or just simply find a crack somewhere and go lateral hops. Cool, and there you have it. That's today's warm up, guys. Have fun. Hey, CFO, uh, Steve back here. So we're kind of going right into our full equipment Metcon for the day. And the workout is going to start off with three rounds, 21, 15, 9 of 25 dumbbell front squats at 35, 25, and 50 double arms. Then we're going to go right into a 21, 15, 9 of dumbbell box step overs using those two dumbbells, 50 double unders. Then right after that, going right into 50 burpee over dumbbells. So with all that in mind, our sequence for today is it's a very fun little workout. I just finished doing it myself. And today it's about trying to keep tempo from start to finish, all right? We do not want to have any rest time. So just keep in mind, nice easy tempo that we can achieve for all these movements. So we're going to start off with going to a quick uh, movement demo with Emily here. We're going to start off with the dumbbell front squats. So for today, you can have them in a front rack or resting on your shoulders, just have them on you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our feet into our squat position, and then Em's gonna show us a couple of reps. Nice, very nice. Again, we have high elbows, chest is very tall, and again, knees tracking over our toes, so the very nice quick reps. Again, tempo reps. Don't wanna go too fast so that it hinders our double unders, so we can set those down. Then we have double unders. With double unders for today, we wanna keep in mind elbows in, hands slightly in front, and think about when you're doing, doing them to double tap as if there's a target on the floor that might help you in initializing that quick snap with the hands, okay? Right on to the next portion of the workout is gonna be the dumbbell box step overs. So our grip is starting to get a little toasty. So M is gonna actually, again, keep those arms relaxed. And you can notice how she's stepping in behind or further back on the box, which allows, again, her shoulders to stay pretty level. So again, we're gonna step on a little bit further back on the box, which allows her to step another step forward, and then it makes her easier for her to step off so we can put those down. Okay, so for that, we wanna try and hang on as long as we can, only dropping those dumbbells if we're starting to fatigue our grip. And then, then again, we're going on to double unders. And then last but not least, what we really want to focus on for the burpee over the dumbbell is making sure that we just stick with a good tempo, okay? So try not to slow down too much and just down and up and keep it going for this uh, whole time. Okay guys, so have fun with that workout. We're going to get into the partial and no equipment coming up soon. Thanks. Guys, back again, going for the at-home version of today's workout. This is one that you're going to hopefully have some fun with. Grab a couple of odd objects that you're, that's lying around. So what we're going to be doing is instead of the dumbbell front squats, we're going to be grabbing either a single dumbbell or, like I mentioned, grab something around the house, odd object that we can hopefully keep in, in front of us. And we're just going to do front squats with those. So just have them in that front rack. Point of performance again, keep that chest tall, knees tracking over toes. And again, we want to keep that tempo going through the whole entire workout. Um, so instead of double unders, again, very at home focused workout, we can just do lateral jumps. So we can just go side to side, up to you, or over our odd object. Yeah, just like Emily's going over here. Again, try and keep tempo, those calves are going to start burning. And then for the second part, instead of those box step overs, again, if we don't have a dumbbell, what we can do is grab our odd object or no weight. And what we're going to be doing is actually doubling the reps. And we're going to be doing lunges, alternating lunges. So Emily is going to do a couple lunges for us here. Again, she's stepping forward, making sure that her knee is not going too far over that toe, kind of nice in line with that shin. And then driving right back up, keeping that chest nice and tall. And with the burpees, if we have a dumbbell, we can do burpees over that or 
nope or burpees over nothing or we can do burpees over our kind of odd object so feel free hashtag you know cfo community let us know what you guys are using for your dumbbell alternatives for your burpee over odd object alternatives so today is going to be a fun one so have fun with that